Hello everyone, uh, this is Boater, and figured I'd try something a little different for my channel. I'm doing an unboxing of the blue R1 HD. Uh, this is a budget Android phone, uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about it and why I got it uh, as we start going. So, let's unbox something. So I have been a Windows Phone user for the past three years or so. Uh, you know, I was using Android before that. I had a Motorola Backflip and Atrix. They were definitely older. They were Android 2. Point something. Uh, so it will be interesting to see what this is like. Uh, rest assured, I am not switching from Android uh, from Windows Phone. This is not going to be my primary mobile device. Uh, but I mean, I need to play Pokemon Go, guys. And this was 60 bucks. Uh, in an offer from Amazon where it's going to show ads on the la lock screen. Without that, it's uh, 110 But uh, $60 for a game is, you know, pay for it like I pay for a AAA game, which the way everyone's playing it, it may as well be. So, we're going to open this up and pull out the phone itself. And I really like that. That's really, ni that's really nice looking. So, uh, Blue is a brand that... Uh, was, is headquartered in Miami, Florida. Um, actually, this has a very similar feel to uh, my Windows phone over here. Very similar size, uh, camera placement and such like that. Uh, the difference is this was, you know, a 500 something dollar phone. This is a 100 something dollar phone. So, I'm gonna peel back the protective backing here. Branding right there, which honestly, I mean, a, a nice looking logo goes a long way, so we got that right there. Um, I believe this has a separate battery. Let's see what we have in the box. Uh, let's see here. It's our information for the uh, IMEI. Package includes one handset, charger, data cable, quick guide. Okay, so I, I might have been wrong. Uh, battery, if it is an external one, it is already in the unit. I was also looking at a bunch of these, trying to figure out what would be appropriate for the game. So, uh, we're just going to try to turn it on. Got the power button over here. And there we go. It is bright. <laughs> so while that starts up, we'll take a look. Got a USB charger over here uh, with a micro USB plug like that. I've got a ton of micro USB around the place, so it's fine that it'll match all those. Um, Again, my uh, Lumia 950 uses Type-C, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just interested to kind of see what this will be like uh, you know, using the Android system, although I'm probably going to eventually try to find a Windows Phone style uh, launcher for it. But uh, just really quick impressions, it feels, feels pretty solid. Swipe up to unlock, okay. English, sure. Eh, not doing a sim. So as I type in the, you know, 30-odd uh, character connection speed, I remember, oh right, Android has haptic feedback on the keyboard, which is something that I kind of miss on my phone, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I, it, it's a good feeling phone. Um, power and volume in the same place as uh, on my current phone, right there. Uh, only addition on my current phone is a physical camera button but I'm going to be carrying this around as a second device uh, and it won't be a primary camera shooter or anything like that. Nice quality screen, I believe it's a, a 1280 by 768 or something like that but that is the resolution that Pokemon Go is optimized at so... Restore your apps and data from one of these devices. Something used eight days ago. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Because I haven't used an Android phone in three years, so we're going to go with Don't Restore. To continue to set up, sign into your Amazon account. So this is going to get the uh, personalized lock screen offers. Uh, this is why it was $50 off, is being able to set this up. So I'm going to sign in here, and we'll see how this looks. Unfortunately, Amazon has stopped. Right, it's asking me to start an Amazon Prime trial. I'm not going to do that. Uh, this was ordered through Amazon Prime with my wife's account. Uh, so hopefully everything still works. Yeah, that's fine. And we're here at the 
standard screen. Oh, we got deals of the day over there. Uh, I can probably do that, but if we turn this off, turn it back on, uh, I have missed calls in Google Hangouts. All right, but then there's a lock screen offer, um, and I can do learn more. It'll open up in the browser or app, Amazon app for the Amazon Echo. I'm not interested in that. We'll come back here. And uh, each time I turn it on, it's going to get that. Uh, but if I don't want that, just swipe up and I'm in. So it's really not intrusive at all. And frankly, those are pretty attractive looking. Mostly. Again, this is basically just going to be for Pokemon Go. It's not going to be my primary device. So that's not bad at all. Um, I guess I'll get the game installed and take it from there. So while that's downloading, I will comment a bit on the uh, fitness of this phone for Pokemon Go. Pretty much every phone by Blue, while they are cheaper, uh, they do not have a gyroscope. That means that you won't be able to use uh, alternate reality, augmented reality, uh, when playing the game. That means no taking pictures of Pokemon here on the desk, uh, outside on the lawn, uh, behind a Burger King counter, anything like that. Um, that being said, AR is a big battery hog even on ones that work. So, yep, yep, sure, sure. So, uh, it does, ah, I'll just turn down that volume a little bit. Very nice. Um, so, having it isn't too big a deal, it's a bit of a battery hog. This has, a, I want to say, high 2000s milliamp. Uh, battery might be low 3000s. It's pretty decent uh, on battery life, especially with a smaller resolution screen. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go play the game, guys. I've been waiting two weeks to be able to play this game. It's not on Windows Phone. It's on Android. You can get a phone by Blue. Um, this one, this is the one that I would recommend. Again, this is the Blue R1 HD. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can order it for sixty dollars, and it has the lock screen ads. Um, There are other phones that are cheaper. There's one that's 60 outright, but it has less RAM. You want one with ideally at least two gigabytes of RAM. It doesn't have the gyroscope, but if you're looking to get a device just to play Pokemon Go, tell yourself that you probably bought a DS or a 3DS just for one of the main series Pokemon games, and that was, you know, 100 something. Pay 60 for this and uh, tether it to Wi Fi with your phone, or pay like 10 bucks a month and get it added to your data plan, something like that. Um, it I think is going to be well worth it. I'm looking forward to catching some Pokemon. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this unboxing, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought. Um, it's not something that I normally do, but I did enjoy doing it. Uh, you can yell at me for using Windows Phone if you like. Uh, I certainly hear it all the time. Uh, and welcome me to Android and tell me that maybe I should just go full-time Android. Uh, that's fine too. Anyway, comments are totally welcome and appreciated. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good one. Uh, and I'm gonna go and Catch them all. Bye, guys.